Good morning, and today we'll be breaking witchcraft love spells against husband and wife. What is a love spell? A love spell is the attempt to bind the passion of another or to capture them as a sex object through magical means rather than direct contact. How love spells are done. It can be implemented in a variety of ways, such as a uh, such as written spells, dolls, charms, amulet, potion, food, or different rituals. And I see well this has happened to me, so I can speak of this from my own personal point of view. So spells can be done to steal your spouse, man or woman. So these are the spells that can be done. They can be done, I'll talk in a little bit on each one. A binding spell. A binding spell is to make the person who always want you. Your, a binding spell is to bind you to the person. A love altar. A love altar can be set up in your bedroom. So when you take the person into the bedroom, there's a heightened sense of love. And oh, I'm in love with this man. Or the woman is going to be in love with the um man. An enchanted perfume. That's just a perfume they can spray. They can spray it on themselves. And when they go next to you, just have a height and say, Oh, I'm so love this person. This person is so good to me. Love spell of desire. It's just for um the person. When they do this spell, is to make the person, whoever they're doing it against, is going to make the person just want them even more. Even more when they spray the perfume or when they do the spell. If the person is just going to be attracted to them. They're going to say, oh my God, I just see Susie. And boy, oh boy, Susie is looking very attractive. And there and there is a spell to attract any any lover. They're just going to do a spell and the, like just say, you see this man and you just smile at him. There it goes. Now you're finding yourself attracted to him for no reason. You don't even like him. And you just, I'm just attracted to John. I don't even know why I'm attracted to John. So we're going to, um, we're going to go on and we're going to look in at six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm just going to give him like a, a little, you know, a little something as to what the kind of spells people can do to steal your spouse, be it man or be it woman. Number six, the fire spell. This spell, when it's done, the person just has a burning desire for you. If it's a man, he will have a burning desire for a woman. And if it's a woman, she will have a burning desire for a man. Bring back love spell. This is a spell like if you had somebody, maybe an ex-spouse, maybe somebody you dated when you was younger. This spell will bring them, I'm sorry, this spell will bring them back. To make a man love you. This spell is just to, you, you do it and just anybody, it doesn't matter who it is, whoever it is, it could be somebody else's husband and you do this spell, that person would automatically be in love with you. So we're going to be looking at number nine. Number nine is to make a man desire only you. And when a man desires only you, if he has a wife or if the woman has a husband, forget it. That person, the other partner, the innocent partner will be treated so badly. And then like, I just saw my husband change and my wife might say, oh, I just saw my husband change for no reason. I don't know what is going on. It's because someone did a spell. So the person will not desire their spouse. They only desire whomever cast a spell on them. And then the last spell we're going to look at is number 10 the spell of nine the spell of nine is cast at nine o'clock and that's just to make somebody like all the rest of the spell that is done to make somebody fall in love with you it doesn't matter if the person is married doesn't matter if the person is single it's done at nine o'clock and it's to capture the heart of a man or to capture the heart of a woman and that's the end of the um the different ways people can capture your spouse. i just want to say to somebody that witchcraft is real We're going to be praying a prayer, a prayer of backlash, retribution, retaliation, and repercussion. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just want to thank you, God, for delivering, God, for delivering 
for delivering our spouses, God, from the spirit, God, from the witchcraft, love spells done to them, God. Father God, you know, you know what's going on right now. We take authority over every spirit. We take authority over every witchcraft, love spell done to our spouses right now in the name of Jesus, God. And we ask you, God, to break it in the name of Jesus, God. Not only do we break it, God, but we return it back to sender in Jesus' name. Back to sender. We send back the witchcraft love spell back to sender in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God. Lord God, you said it is written, the um the hole that they have dug, that they themselves will fall into it, God. And we just want to thank you to return it. We, we burn it up with fire too. We burn up every spell done against our spouses against our mates uh, to take them away from us through deceitful means through means of witchcraft god we burn it by fire in the name of jesus no weapon formed against us shall prosper or succeed in jesus's name and we thank you god we thank you jesus and we thank you holy spirit for bringing deliverance god we thank you god for delivering the spouse from every witchcraft love spell god we thank you god for delivering them from the love spell of desire we thank you god for delivering him or her god from enchanted perfume god it will make the person irresistible god and the poor man or poor woman will like be sleeping with this man or sleeping with this woman say oh my god i don't know what i just did they can't help themselves because our spells are being cast over them so they're not they can't help themselves because they're being controlled by other sources but god we thank you right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth to bring in deliverance to every home that is under attack from witchcraft love spell in Jesus' name. So I just want to touch on this thing before I go. A man or a woman that is married and has been cheating continuously, even though you might say this prayer and the man might come home, the woman might come home, you're looking at a serious problem, and that problem is adultery. And if we don't deal with the main cause of the problem, that man will go out and he'll find another woman, or that woman will go out and find another man. So may we have... um. May we use wisdom in this matter because the deeper root is adultery, rejection, hatred, anger. You know, it may be stemmed from their childhood. Maybe the man may not have had a mother in his life. Maybe the woman did not have a dad in her life. So, you know, the things them are very deep rooted. But like I said, we're going to pray and there is going to be deliverance. But most of all, a person needs to be delivered from the spirit of adultery, Bob.